So this is Ismail. I'm a global security architect working at Google. I focus on threat intelligence and we're going to demonstrate today what the capabilities of Google provide. We're specifically going to talk about AI and how that applies to cybersecurity and threat intelligence. So this goes into three different levels depending on complexity. First, we've got to understand what this data is coming from. This data is coming from two places. One, the community, where everyone in the world is sharing their samples, even from places like Canada, Russia, China, Europe, Africa, or Oceania, with us. That samples could be URLs, could be files, malicious files, that we are under studying in order to understand the threats at a tactical level. We have combined these capabilities, this data, with Mandian intelligence. Since the acquisition by Google in 2022, we've combined both strategic intelligence from Mandian and tactical intelligence from Virusotl into a single offering, Google Threat Intelligence. This allows us to start using AI and applying it to this large corpus going forward. For instance, given that we are at Mobile World Congress 2025, what are the main threats to telecommunications companies in Spain, for instance, given that we are in Barcelona? So you can see we can do a quick natural language query to the platform and we we'll start listing threats. Here there's a simple uh, summary of taking into account our own references, first party references in order to avoid any kind of hallucination to understand what Google thinks are the main threats to telecommunications companies in Spain. This is the first way to use AI, basically to understand and to have it as a threat intelligence analyst. This goes farther in the sense that if I wanted to know a bit more about a specific source, I can quickly click on this one, for instance, and I'm going to see a Gemini summary of what's happening in Spain as Q3 2024, where we're talking about malware like Decom, Frostbite, and, Bi and Basta for data theft and extortion. But we still have the last step for AI. We're working as a reverse engineer for you as a service. This goes to the most interesting side of our carbon research, applying threat in, uh, AI to threat intelligence, that is, how can we make it work as a reverse engineer? How can we make it analyze files for us? Not only to tell us if something is bad or good, but to describe it, even finding zero days, as in this specific sample where we can see how the industry considers this file as clean, while different antivirus engines are analyzing it, are analyzing its code, and telling us that this file is related to the loading of fuscated script, decoding and executing the script, and scheduled task management for probable persistence of the malware. That's how the AI is being applied to threat intelligence. Finding intelligence, summarizing it, and applying it to file analysis. Thank you so much.